Let's go win. Fuck nuts. We'll take all the birds and leave the men dead on the field. Call him Xavi, call him Iniesta, call him Prime Barcelona. Let's go win some rugby. Oh, it's game day. And I have a cold again. Shock. University life perhaps isn't for me. What's up, boys? Good morning. Game day, boys. Let's go win some rugby. Woo! Yeah? Thanks for that. Cheers, mate. Hi, my dear and loving friend, OJ. Hi, Yaz. How are we? Sam. Hi, guys. Welcome to Level up rugby. Today we're starting off strong with a healthy breakfast like a pasta carbonara. Mm. Let's go win. F nuts. We'll take all the birds and leave the men dead on the f field. F nuts. Mm. How are you feeling? Yeah, I'm excited. Neck, neck's a bit stiff, but we move. Make a lot of tackles, have we? No, no, no comment. No comment, no tackles here from Miles. Yeah, like that is good. Just taxi every single time. Taxi every single time. The issue is that. That's right, guys, it is game day. We are here back at Nottingham University, the University of Nottingham. Bucks threes for us playing against their Bucks threes. Funnily enough, the Bucks threes again were here last week playing their Bucks twos. They have two teams in this league, similarly to how Loughborough had two teams in this league last year. We had our threes and fours, and now we just have the threes and they have their twos and threes in this league as well. So chaos, you might say. We played them three times in the space of three weeks. We had a preseason game here. We had the first game of the season here last week. I wasn't here, I was away in France. And then we're playing them again this week, so knots, knots, knots. My first game back in, what, two weeks since I was here playing on that pitch behind me. Not much to talk about that game. It was not the best game in the world. So we're hoping to right some wrongs today, but not even right wrongs, as Max Jomu says. Just go out there and follow our process. That's the plan for today. Hopefully we can come away with the dub. What do I mean, hopefully? We're definitely coming away with the dub. It's going to be a happy day for us. Feeling confident, looking forward to the game. I'm just looking to get involved as much as I can, get as many touches as possible. My key focuses today are not thinking. That's it. I don't have any focuses today. My focus is on not thinking, just doing. I was watching Batman the other night, funnily enough, and on Batman, the first one, the bad guy says, it doesn't matter about the training, all that matters is the will to act. That is what happens today. I haven't been training properly for the past week, but it's the will to act that will carry me through. Time to get back into the changing rooms, get dressed up in some more match attire and head out for an exciting game. Let's go. Yeah, we'll come back into one of our boys. How are you feeling, Travis? I'm good. I'm excited. Pretty chill in a minute, but... Building into building, it. Plenty building of time well, to go. Yeah. Key focus for you this week, mate. Uh, key focus, control the game, um, skill execution, and then maybe get a couple of snipes uh, or a couple of tries. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Let's do it. Easy day. The fans are here, guys. The family has come to support me. All the way up in Nottingham from down in Bournemouth. What a trek. What a bunch of troopers. Hello there, Level Up supporters. Um, 
um, you don't know my face, but you may have heard the level up sound. The diddle did that is um, my thing that I've contributed to my brother's uh, YouTube channel. He doesn't know I'm filming this, um, but if you are watching, do him a favour, give him a subscribe, give him a like, and uh, share this video. Hi guys, welcome back to the Level Up Studios. I hope this finds you well. It's time to get straight into the team sheet. Starting off at Loosehead, we have the skipper, Lucas. In at Hooker, then, we have the fake Scotsman with an Irish name, Corey McCormack. Number three, at Tighthead, Joe Seesaw, Seor. In the two-row, in the engine room, we have JB and Ethan Barnes. Number six, the IMS legend, man who's never on time to anything apart from a breakdown, Arthur Adcock. At seven, the human wrecking ball, Harry Williams. George Hamblin at eight, the fresher starting at eight for Bucks Threes. Great achievement for him. In at nine, we have the very experienced Spud, AKA James Crabtree, the general. Toby Jackson, Jacko at 10. The man who could beat you in a phone box on the left wing, Ryan Apps. Myself, Ollie Johnson, level up rugby in at 12, alongside Dylan Jenkins, AKA DJ, great player. Finishing off with Jake Wright on one wing and the world's slowest man, the world's most appalling rig. Josh Waylett at fullback. Honestly, I don't have a clue how he's starting at fullback. He has good feet, but apart from that, he's pretty slow. Our finishers on the bench then are Matt Haywood, Aaron Brown, AKA Ziggy, Adam White. <laughs> Wonder who that was then. Don't see his name on a Bucks 3 team sheet all too often. Lewis Hall, world's funniest bloke. Uh, in the 20 slot, the replacement scrum half is Sam Kerwin, great bloke. Guy Kirkpatrick, the fresher. Scotsman, aka Merlin, in the 21 slot, the replacement fly half, and Joe Denmark finishing off the team sheet. Let's get into the game. All right, then Loughborough are kicking off the game, playing from left to right against Knotts. A deep kickoff there from Jacko, starting off the game well in the opposition half. And we are straight back on the kick return. They exited. And look at me working hard to get back behind the ball, transferring from right-hand side to left-hand side. I'm straight into the action. OJ across the face. DJ, bit of footwork, and he's over. What a unbelievably quick start. First of all, apologies for the lack of footage in this game. You'll see why Gregoire, the cameraman, is busy looking at dogs. We'll get on to that later on. Apologies for the lack of footage. But that will be improved for the next vlog. Don't you worry about it. But yeah, it was a fast, fast start in the first passage of play for us we kicked off deep ball returned transfer from right to left one phase to the middle play to the edge transfer for me the, the pivot player across to dj unreal feat to finish that an early score for the borough up five points to nil inside two minutes great start we catch up with play with lufra back in the opposition half after exiting from their kickoff and a big defensive set you can see ethan there pulling men around the corner to get off the line and trapping them behind the game line. That's our first mission in defence. And there we are, Pen for the Borough. I get cross off the ball, obstruction, Pen ref to the Borough, and we go towards the opposition 22. We play a classic unders and overs shape here, and I just about beat the defender flying out to take my head off and get the ball away. Oh God, OJ, what are you doing? Trying to force a pass there that just wasn't really on. I get back, hopefully make the tackle on the guy without the ball. Not really what you want. But we get the ball back and Jacko plays a phenomenal kick into the corner there and has a word with me, crucially, at this point, saying, put your head down, lad. Don't worry about passing the ball, none of that nonsense. Just have a go, mate, which is crucial for this next passage of play. As we can see, massive shot there from Harry Williams coming out the blind side. You'll see this bloke absolutely killing people throughout the entire season. He is a human wrecking ball. He's a cheat code of a player. But anyway, makes that tackle. Lucas is challenging this breakdown, getting cleaned out by two men, but then pulls out the assist of the season. Call him Xavi, call him Iniesta, call him prime Barcelona back in the day because, oh my, he gets a foot on it, plays it across the pitch, little grabber kick. I scoop it up and head down over the try line for my first score of the season. I don't score many tries. I think I scored like two for Harpenden last year, but I managed to get over the line here, carry over the 10. A couple more players come to try and finish me off, but that close to the line, you can just flop and fall forwards. If that was in the halfway, you'd try and get your feet through and try and keep on working through the tackle, but there's no need in this environment. If they try and chop you, just go over the top of them, you're going to score anyway. So happy days. Loughborough on the board again. It's now 12 points to nil after about 10 minutes to the borough. 
Come on, the boys. And straight from the kickoff here, you can see Loughborough's ambition to play with the ball as we stretch the team. Whale it with the carry on the edge. No, gets the ball away to Apsi. Ooh, a man needs space. Not a closed corridor like that. Gets shotted. We play off the edge. Barnsley carries. Great chop. And they are in that breakdown like a Jack Russell down a rabbit hole. Oh my goodness, that was phenomenal. They got the turnover. But we do manage to force a knock on from which Toby Jackson hits an unreal... 50-22, we didn't get the footage, shock. Gregoire, get on the case. But from there, Harry Williams charges forward, pass one, pass two. Oh my God. YouTube guidelines are not gonna be happy about this one. He absolutely violates this bloke. That 10, your man, the two lads bump into each other. <laughs> there ain't no way, but he's putting his body on the line for Knott's cause there, have a word, lad. <sighs> Number six tries to get across, can't quite manage it, but then Harry Williams, Mate, I'm outside him here, calling, Harry, give me the ball. Realistically, in no position to receive the ball, just going for my two tries, but the... <sighs> the audacity, the sheer strength. We don't know how he does it. I don't even think Harry knows how he does it, but he just cleans through people. We saw him essentially getting the assist of the assist for my try with the big tackle, but that is just ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous from him. Will Jacko slot the kick? Yes, he will. 19 points to nil after about 20 minutes. It's a flying start for the Borough. We are building a very good score here, a good lead, playing in the right areas, playing some lovely rugby as well, and clearly dominating physically. That's the key. That's where it all starts is the physicality, and we've got that on top so far. Let's see if we can follow through for the second half of the first half. Still playing in the right areas, forcing Knots to exit from their scrum. Good kick from the lad, but we are getting back well behind the ball. Waylett takes it. Waylett with the footwork. Gets past one, gets past two. Oh, gets out the third tackle. And oh, what a good carry from Waylett. Talking of good footwork, you'll see here me on the floor. I left myself way too much space inside. It was a wet day. At this point, the rain started to come and the floodgates had opened. And yeah, I left on the floor. But Harry cleans up for me there. Oh, I don't know how the bloke... I have gone again. How does this bloke do it? I don't know. We've asked him a few times, but he hasn't got an answer for us. He just goes around absolutely ending people. And not to continue to play down the edge. Scrum house having a go. And the footage cuts out again. The professional setup here at Level Up Rugby is awfully professional. And we shall bring you some more footage next time. But Gregoire is awfully artistic with his camera skills. So you can see Ethan in the background going off there with an injured shoulder. He did something to his AC joint. And he's been out for the remainder of the season since then. So let's put some Fs in the chat for Ethan. That is... That's tough times. Anyway, onwards, we got a yellow card here because basically what happened was George Hamblin, the fresher, the number eight, pulled this lad back apparently and prevented him from scoring a try. So we are now down a man, which is not what you want. They go straight to the corner, five metre catch and drive, but we repel them, of course. The pack of Loughborough, they get the ball out of there, play to their 10, play a simple under the Novas. I make the cover tackle there, poor tackle from me. Really need to get my feet in closer there and keep my feet alive in the contact. It's a passive tackle. It's poor. I left too much space. But anyway, we, we bring the man down. And Deeds joins that breakdown and gets bumper clotted off the ball. Gets taken past the breakdown. Now, this is a piece of rugby nausing for you. As this player, the number 12 from Knotts, intelligently clears DJ past the breakdown. He's unable to stay in the defensive line. Corey's unable to fold around the corner. And Jacko's left with too much space on the inside as he tries to create the vacuum to pull our players around the corner. And the nine exploits it excellently. Jacko, mate. Tackle height. Get your tackles down, Jacko. But fair play. The guy is off to the races and he's under the post. That is not first try of the second half after about 30 minutes. The 10 adds to the extras, making it 19-7. And we are a little bit under the pump here. The game's getting scrappy after the rain started pouring. But we are back with a scrum, probably from a knock-on. Let's be honest, it is tipping it down. But we are trying to force the team back inside, reduce them just to one-out runners, essentially just picking and going from the breakdown. But great, Karen, and an even better rip from Lucas, the skipper. I was asking for that ball to come away. I was hoping we could play to the corner. But either way, here we go. Five metres out, what's he going to do? Not, uh, not very much. Just carries, ball retention, looking after it. Jacko tries to go that way, doesn't go that way. Back inside, keeping the ball alive. No way Jacko's getting tackled, he hates contact. But JB carries well, and after that, they are over that ball. Hands on the floor, awfully, way past the ball. Ref's got to be calling that, but for some reason, we gave away a pen. But back on halfway we are, and they carry through the middle. Buddy just falls over at the sheer presence of Adam White, but we give away a penalty. I'm sprinting back because I can see this guy going for the quick tap. I get back and finish off the tackle there. 
he was falling. He was falling to the ground. They in playing behind. Chase is on. Rapsy's getting back. No one's beating Rapsy to that ball. Rapsy is too fast. But the ball goes dead. Don't know what's happened here. But the ball's being played away to the corner. Well, it's caught narrow. Can he get back to make the tackle? Stutter step in the corner. Goodness gracious. Cheers, Steve, for the update. That was silly. Let's get a replay on that. Yeah, well, it's not going to be happy to see that one. Oh, it just gets beaten on the outside. It's tough. We're a man down still. The space is on that edge and they exploit it very well. After building a very healthy lead, Loughborough are now still ahead, but by only seven points. It's 12-19 with five left to play in the half. It's not what you want, especially after going a man down. And that is the half. It's 19-12 at halftime. Loughborough coming at the blocks, firing execution levels high. Tactical knowledge and awareness to play in the right areas. Sublime from our halfback pairing. Crabbers and Jacko playing very well. But first of all, they have the platform to do that from our forwards being physically dominant. Great defensive sets, apart from in that last 10 when we went down a man. We just lost our heads clearly and weren't covering the space that we'd lost. When the rain started to pour, that's coincidentally when we became quite poor, handling errors were up through the roof. We weren't playing in the right areas, giving away way too many penalties, and that's resulted in us being only ahead by seven points, where we should be. We should be clear of that, in my opinion. Playing well, not so giving it their all, but we are just tipping them at this point. But anyway, let's get straight into the second half action. And we're off with me, the ball at the back, holding on for a bit too long there, but get the ball away to Waylip behind the post, carries well, fighting contact from that bloke. After I probably should have given the pass a bit earlier and let them have that space. But anyway, we're playing back off that edge and it's an inside ball. Wow, look at that no look, unnecessary pass from Jacko, but I love it. If only there were style points in rugby, Jacko would be through the roof by this point. But I carry again, they try to get over, just make that breakdown, an absolute living hell for James Crabtree. And I think they turn that ball over. Not what you want at all from the first set and attack, but at least we're playing in the right areas this time. Anyway, back on with the game. They have a breakdown and I make the shot. So what you haven't seen off camera here is they had a line out, they carried through the middle and they're playing a second phase strike move where they're trying to pivot off the 12 and I've read it. Of course, that's locked in the memory bank. I know that for a fact. I read it. I've shot off the line and tried to whack the 12 which I managed to get him. I don't make the dominant hit. I want to I sort of slide on his back. But either way, we've killed the attack. I'm very happy with myself for that one. Roll away, get myself out of there. These two men are now very discombobulated. So, as always, we get out of here. Oh, it's a pen to that. Never mind, doesn't matter. We play on. And on we play. Oh, making myself out of that tackle or defending the short side. They play back to the open side sort of zigzagging across the pitch. It's difficult to attack like that. Can they stretch us to an edge? Oh, they try to. Don't know what happens after that, but they carry again through the midfield. Great attack from them. They're holding onto the ball really well, even after us forcing them back. Great whip from us in defense. Rapsy there just gets brushed off. This guy gets the ball away and I'm still tracking across the pitch. Go for the chop, but I get beaten on the inside, but we get back and make the tackle. That seems to be what's going on here. They're attacking well, but we just managed to finish them off in the tackle area. But finally, it's our time to attack. Great carry from Lewis Hall there, and they give away a penalty for something. High tackle, and Crabtree's off to the races, or he's not, because he's been tackled short and early. Oh my goodness. Oh. Again, we don't quite have the footage. We have this lovely, glorious dog sporting the AV, but we don't actually have any match footage. But I'll recount what happened to you. Lewis gets a bit of head-on-head -head contact there from the player. The pen is given to us. Crabtree is off to the races, but gets tackled after about half a yard. That guy then lets Crabbers go for some reason. If you're going to do it, mate, at least finish it off. Let's Crabbers go. Crabbers skirts across the pitch and pulls off the filthiest nutmeg you may ever see in your life. At this point, I'm shouting to the bloke, Take your trousers down as Crabtree goes off after the ball. But yeah, well, I guess we'll never know what happened there. I don't think we scored. We didn't score, but either way, it's worthy of making the highlights because Crabtree, you've done well there. We do know that Crabbers pulled off a filthy nutmeg, which is worth at least half a point at this point. There, again, we've got the style points on the card, but points on the board are slow for us in this second half. Straight back into the action. They play off the line out and oh, go absolutely hissing through the middle of us. We parted like the Red Sea there. Call them Han Moses because he's opened us up. We see we're working too hard here. Kerwin's come off the bench for Crabbers and who's just come on looking to make an impact and overworked. He expects a 10 to give that ball. He dummies well. Lewis Hall can't quite get across. In fairness, he's not really expected to there. And the 10 just goes siding through the middle and... 
Yeah. They're in under the posts. After all that good stuff from Loughborough, we now find ourselves level on the score. It's 19 all after 50 minutes. After that fast start, who expected this? The drama of this game so far. Fair play to Knotts. They have come back into this game super well and left us asking some questions under the post. But anyway, on with the game. And we can begin to see here how scrappy the game is becoming with the conditions. It's very wet and it's very frustrating. I'm starting to get a little bit pissed off here because the ball's being held up. The guy's not rolling away. In fairness, he doesn't have to, but doesn't mean that I'm not going to try and get him out of the way. And he wasn't moving, and I was getting so riled up by this. The rain was really causing us to capitulate here. The conditions weren't favourable for either team, but clearly not were responding the better. We had so many unforced errors, so many forced errors from penalties that knots were accumulating from us not playing in the right areas. Believe it or not, this isn't a golf course. It's a rugby pitch and I'm losing my head. Either way, from that scrum, we try and give some line speed, try and catch them behind the gain line. Tracking across the pitch here, they transfer the ball to the edge really well and actually find a weak shoulder there. Fair play to them stretching the ball away across the pitch, but how is that not a turnover? How is that not a turnover? It isn't a turnover and they keep on playing. Good carry from them again, hitting gain line, but we slow their ball down and who knows what happened after that. I'll be having words with Gregoire. But anyway, catching up with play, we have a scrum here playing off of 12. I try and carry up the middle. How is that not a high tackle with the new tackle regulations? I mean, I don't particularly like the tackle regulations. I can see the benefit of them, but please enforce them. Like, it's so hard. Like, when it's on that line, it's hard to tell. But anyway, you can see I'm getting pissed off. I'm starting to get really annoyed here, getting frustrated. But on with the game. Crab is just trying to fire us up on the sideline there. This is classic now when one person films the game and you ask them for the footage and it turns out their dad has only recorded them for the whole game, even if they're playing on the wing on the opposite side of the pitch. We start off with a scrum, two knots again after probably another handling error from us and Boldy's away. Tic Tac is what they call him, not me. It's up the sideline, great tackle from Denmark, off the bench, oh, slips out though. But we get back, managed to get back behind the ball and I'm flying in here to try and absolutely murder the bloke. There are definitely arms in that tackle Excuse me, Judge. There were arms in there. I promise you that. Let's get a slow-mo on that. I come across the pitch from the blind side. Move Merlin out of the way. I'm trying to murder this bloke. Legally, of course, on the rugby pitch. I fly in and he drops the ball. Thank God for his sake and probably for mine because it's definitely going to be a high tackle with no arms. But we don't talk about that. Plays on and we quickly move on from that slightly mischievous and potentially scandalous play of events we're trying to play in the right areas here and you can see us putting in the work rate on the kick chase getting ahead of their defense getting back and i'm still annoyed pushing that big bloke out of the way trying to get raps over the ball i'm now trying to blast this breakdown but dj says go away mate we're actually doing some work here defending properly but again the player cam is still on me so god knows what's happening here well it's telling people to get black we turn over we got the ball carry from lewis hall getting over the game line there congratulations lewis mate first dominant carry of the year we play the ball away should have gone to the edge here hamblin another good carry after getting chopped and we're zigzagging ourselves playing back across the pitch merlin here starting to call the orders we play the ball away dj's on the outside showing off that footwork again but they're over the ball quite well oh, situation it. update still don't really know what's going on lost count the score i know uh loughborough winning just giving away a penalty um, but uh, yeah that's that's my insight right back to you, you in the and studio. I are as both confused about that as each other um, Gregoire clearly providing some in-match commentary cheers Jeff anyway back on with the game and you can see us continuing to pin this corner we're trying to turn the knots of the fence and play in the right areas but this guy carries out well until he meets me of course big shot there from me but apparently it's a pen because we didn't release, which is awful. And you can see me still talking to the ref before I try and whack that bloke again. Good tackle. I'm not too disappointed though. My head was very much on the wrong side. But the referee brings us back. We were back 10, but as I was retreating 10, I was then giving back chat, as you clearly saw. And he's having a word with me here, telling me off. I feel like a kid caught red-handed in a playground, honestly. He wasn't happy. Riddle me this. How can you go back for back chat? It's either an instant pen or nothing at all. So, I don't know how that worked. DJ got over the ball twice there, really well. He should have had so many turnovers in this game, but the ref wasn't giving anything. But it's up to us to learn from that, which we did not, and continue to give away penalties. Anyway, on with the game. And we can see us defending yet again. 
Denmark makes a great tackle there. I try and finish the bloke off as well. I'm icing the breakdown, filling the field, full width, all that stuff. So we continue to defend and force them back. But we're on with the game again. And Hamlin's got a great carry. Lift off to Lucas. Goodness knows how we've got to this stage of the game. But we are here and we're recording. And the ball's played across from Merlin. Into Harry. Looped pass unnecessarily. But Denmark, oh my God, Denmark hold the ball, lad. You were in under the post there. But he gives it to Whaley, who does well to stay in there. But yes, and we carry up through the middle. Good carry, good leg drive, but stripped in the tackle again. Nine plays the ball across the blind side wing, who's opened up into space. Oh, that could have gone one of three ways. Either way, he's chipped the ball. The other two ways were me absolutely no arms, shoulder tackle to the head on that bloke, and him getting concussed and me getting a red card. Or him most likely just absolutely bodying me from making that tackle. He's a big, strong ball carrier, that bloke. Bit of the way, we let him pass. The game picks on. Picked up from Waylett. What a pickup. Travels across the pitch, beats the first tackle, and again, we lose the footage. Fair play to Waylett, doing well there. We don't know what happened, but let's just assume that he broke someone's ankles and scored a try. We do have the ball again, though, and attacking through Harry Williams. Another great tackle on him because he's hard to stop. Good carry from him, though. Drain line for the middle of two players, and we've lost the ball again. Kerwin just chips it up to their nine who's tracking around the pitch and gets... Oh, he's still going. Fair play to the lad. Only a little one gets pushed over by Haywood. But yeah, fair play to that bloke picking up the scraps there and making the most of it. They play across here. So Loughborough just lost a player. Um, second yellow. Might be to red. I think. Um, they've been sent off. Um, what I do know is that it's cold, it's windy, the rain has stopped. Um, back to you in the studio. Cheers, Jeff. Really needed that update. Crucial analysis and insight into the game there. Thanks so much, Gregoire. I'm sure you guys will appreciate him. If you want to see more of Gregoire and aka less of me, leave a comment down below saying, Gregoire, your analysis skills and your post-match, pre-match, during the match punditry is phenomenal. Either way, another cinematic shot here from him. Beautiful stuff on the lens. But it is the last play of the game. And we've made a tackle. We've got a pen. Cohen taps and kicks it out. If you can tell, this is my first time properly giving some match comms. Um, and part of that is getting the score right. It turns out we were winning by more than not winning, aka a 19 all draw. We kicked the ball off and we won the game. I'm starting to feel like this first match vlog isn't going as smoothly as possible. So either way, I appreciate you leaving a like down below because that will only incentivize me to make these a little bit better. Don't worry, they are going to get better. The quality of the content is going to go through the roof. The only way it can go is up right now. But yes, we managed to win the game. It was a scrappy old affair after about 20 minutes when the floodgates opened. The rain poured and our performance went the same way, down. It became poor and we let Knots back into the game. Fair play for them to make the most of the circumstances and just adapt better to the conditions. Poor from us. A lot to work on going into next week. It's not the start we really want. Well, not the start I really want. I didn't play in the first game of the season. I wasn't there. Second game of the season, it was okay. You know, it's good patches, bad patches. We did enough to win the game, which, of course, is all important in these league matches. But yeah, having lost to their two side the week before at their place, now playing their threes, it was integral that we got the win. So we did. And we're on to next week. Here is some more post-match analysis. Week. Post match thoughts, no, 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 Luca. No, 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 how do we get on? Uh, we're very well. It was a scrappy I'm game, but uh, sure yeah, good stuff, really. Wins yeah, the win in those conditions. Uh, Not ideal, yeah. but we'll take it. Anyone else? Roll on next week.